Your Honor. Your Honor in our language means place of water, which is a sacred place for the headwaters of the Biri people, the river people in this country. The sacredness of it goes deeper. They don't write down to, you know, the law of the land, the birthing on our land, the burials in our lands, and the ceremony in the places that are, you know, that have kept our ancient culture existing right up till now. So sacred to us goes a lot deeper than just the physical object on our land that can be seen by non-Indigenous people or any people. You know, we've been fighting against the, you know, the future of this place for our younger generations. But the, the dam project has sort of like put another aspect on that. Down at the big lagoon where we came through is the Yorana Dam wall proposal down there. And that's where the water will be blocked there. And it will inundate this area all through the valley here for about 53 kilometres. And they said it will take over seven years to fill the capacity of what they need. But it's a bigger valley than any other catchment in the area for water storage. So this water here that they're trying to captivate will be sent out to Carmine for mine to a gravity fed pipeline where they don't have to use pumps or anything like that and help gravity feed the water out through the Galilee and then out through the agricultural triangle of North Queensland. So, yeah. The connection between our people and the river is life. That's our creation, that's everything. My family, my uncles, my grandfather, we all come from a line of artists that told stories and depicted history. And what we do today, we tell it in a story about who we are and where we still are today. From the changes of society and development and everything, but the land still exists. So we paint the land as a map of our country. As descendants of our ancestors today, you know, we have to stand up and we have to fight for that sacredness of our rivers and try to stop, you know, these practices of mining in our country and the significance of the river. The river runs all the way to the ocean, so our connection is right through the river system. You know, it is the people's decision whether this dam should go ahead or not. You know, and we've got scientists, we've got other allies, like different groups that are working with this conservation group from all over Australia who are prepared to get, you know, EISs and the proper information and the facts out there to stop this project from going in and make, you know, creating awareness to everybody that you know, Yorana is not just a place that can be dammed, Yorana is a special place. This is the last sensitive area in this country that should not be dammed or mined. We're asking for support for people to come out and play a part so you know, the wider community are aware of what's at stake here. Woo. Man, is it getting hot out here or what? Hey. In our language we say Ganda, Ganda in our language to fight, you know, we will fight no matter what it takes in this modern day world to secure the sacredness of our country and what it has provided us for thousands and thousands of years from our ancient culture. And our children and our future generations will understand where we are today in this modern world that places like this will not be destroyed or impacted by any development or infrastructure that is not going to be sustainable within our country. And once again, we say Ganda, which means we will fight.